We have come to the end of another Christian year. And in little more than a month, we will end our calendar year. Last year, we had hoped that by the end of 2021, the COVID pandemic would be winding down. That vaccines would be available and taken up and that life would be returning to normal. Today, we are faced with a fourth wave and many are reluctant to take the vaccine. Healthcare workers on the front line are tired, burnt out and are getting restless. We have seen bright students fall behind in their education as they struggle to cope with online classes and the inability of their families to purchase data. We have seen small business struggling to keep afloat. Although we have started opening up, it is not because we have beaten the pandemic, but because we feel we are not making much progress and are itching to throw caution aside, regardless of the consequences. On the international front, the United Nations Climate Change Conference have concluded with very little progress in addressing climate change and with waning confidence in our political and business leaders to enact the meaningful changes to curb the continued destruction of our planet and wildlife. It has been an unusual year, a challenging year. There has been disappointments, but also successes. We have lost loved ones, but have also forged new relationships. We are tired of it all, but slowly adjusting to a new normal. Yet in the midst of this, we Christians celebrate the kingship of Christ. Kings and queens have little relevance in our modern democracies. Yet in the gospel, Pilate represents the rulers and powers of this world. In fact, he literally represents Caesar, the ruler of the Roman Empire. On this, the feast of Christ the King, we are asked to ponder Pilate's question to Jesus in John 18, verse 33. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus' answer and our answer is, yes, he is our king. Yet Jesus reveals his rule is not based on that of this world, a world which is not shaped by God. Jesus' authority is dependent and derived solely from God and exists in spite of the world's authorities. It would be a kingdom where those who seek it would find the path to eternal life. Pilate represents the mindset of many governments and corporate business. His views and expressions are similar to many today. A few years after Pilate's Pilate questioned Jesus, the Roman Empire would lie waste and in tatters, whereas the path to eternal life still is open to us. In Isaiah 24, 20, thus says the Lord, the world itself shall crumble, but my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation knows no end.
Let us pray. Grant us patience, O Lord, to follow the road you have taken. Let our confidence not rest in our own understanding, but in your guiding hand. Let our desires not be for our own comfort, but for the joy of your kingdom. For your cross is our hope, and our joy now, and unto the day of eternity. Amen. And now I invite you to join with me in the collect for the day. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the people of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.